Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Victorio. This time around, we are going to be playing in 0 0.16. Just released this week, uh, and it's going to be a major change to how the game looks and how the game feels. Um, I had a live stream on this earlier this week on the day of the release of 0 0.16, and um, I really enjoyed it. I really did. Uh, now this time around we are going to be playing on a rail world kind of thing going. Mostly because I think rails and cliffs might be a very nice little uh, mixture there. I've tweaked the settings a little. I don't want to run out of iron, copper. don't want to run out of anything basically. Um, and I, I'm, I'm actually going to change it a little more. Uh, and the reason for that is in 0 0.16 uh, the resource settings... Uh, have been changed or the resource spawning has been changed so resources spawn more um, uh, infrequently I suppose uh, also new in 0 0.16 is that you can tweak a lot of the different uh, terrain settings here everything from water grass dirt sand desert trees and I'm gonna say that again trees can be changed in the settings Meaning we don't have to have trees overgrowing everywhere and having just a dedicated storage for trees anymore, which is amazing. Also new is the cliffs, which, you know, it's kind of cool. But it makes a lot of difference to the game. Uh, a lot of the old blueprints uh, most of us probably have somewhere tucked in. Um, blueprint library somewhere is going to be difficult at least if you play on high frequency and high big very big size it's going to be tough getting those blueprints in which means you have to do a lot more by hand you know th there's pros and cons for that but you could also you know look for this perfect spot later in game you can get cliff explosives i believe they're called cliff grenades I'm not sure um which can remove the trees so, you know, there is a, is a way out of it, if uh, one is so inclined. Um, I'm going to leave this as normal, medium. I think that's going to be good. Uh, enemy uh, bases, slow. Let's change that to normal. want to have some action in the game. And now to another great new feature, generate preview. Right there. Look at this. The map spawns as a canvas, I suppose. And here you have all the different resources. You see exactly what you want to get and where you're going to start. My experience is that you start somewhere around the middle of the screen here. Which makes sense because here you have all the different resources and the bases are around and also it's the middle. So, yeah. Um, this looks kind of good except the cliffs are far, far out. You have some here. That's it. So what we can do instead of, you know, exiting out or clicking restart we can just hit this button right here regenerate what happens makes a new map right just like that right off the bat there we go there we have some more cliffs around they are a bit far away though but we can we can make do we can make do we have some stone I, ha I do have trouble seeing stone in some of the biomes like this one for example uh, but um, that might just be me. Maybe I should uh, head over to the doctor and, uh, you know, get my eyes checked. Who knows? Probably an eye doctor. Anyways, here we are in uh, 0 0.16. We have landed. And uh, maybe not surprising, we are going to get started on that iron pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to get myself some uh, axes because mining by hand is for losers. Here we go. And, um, because this is also mining by hand, so, uh, maybe I'm a loser. I don't know. I, this was not what I was thinking about, though, when I said that. And uh, I'll admit, maybe I was a bit harsh to those who enjoy craft mining without tools. Ah, well. Kinda deserve it. Kinda does. Kinda not. Feeling bad about it now. Anyways, we might as well just uh, run up and get the iron started. No reason to hang around waiting for uh, everything else to happen. It's not going to happen for us. We got to do this ourselves. 
no bots just yet. Anyways, maybe eventually. Probably eventually, actually. Anyways, uh, I if any one of uh, those who joined in on the live stream is seeing this, I'd like to give a special thanks to all of you. It made it a great event. Um, it was very much fun. I really enjoyed it. Really did. Um, and uh, I hope this game series is going to be equally fun. Equal amounts of joy and pleasure. Now, as you can see here, there are a couple of mods on. I couldn't help myself. Um, there are no game changers in Noel, though. We have um, the bottleneck, which uh, makes it easier to see what's working and what's not. Uh, there's no long reach. Um, wasn't updated yet. I would have grabbed it if it was. Maybe. I would at least consider it if it was. Also have upgrade planner. Uh, as you can see, all the way up here in the corner there. There's that little upgrade planner icon. Um, and, uh, yep, that's not it. But uh, I can't really um, think of the rest right now. What are the rest? Hmm. I don't remember. Do I really not remember? Yes, I don't. Hmm. Well, I'll let you know once I see them or once I think of them, remember them. I will uh, be sure to um, to uh, shout them out. I suppose, and also I'll uh, put all the different mods in the, the description below. So if you're inclined to read stuff like that, be my guest. Uh, down there you'll also find a link to my Twitter where you can stay up to date on all things average, all things new videos. Uh, I try to be a bit funny. I try to be a bit funny here too, but you know, when I have time to think about it, I usually have, um, you know, time to plan my jokes. I usually um, get to be a little bit more funny at least. Not gonna, not gonna pretend I'm super funny then either, but uh, a little bit more funny, I'd say. Let's uh, craft. We that wouldn't help us at all because uh, there's no um, there's no coal just yet for that. But we can grab that like so. There we go. Throw that in there and get to mining a little bit on the backside here. Right about this. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Well, that's going to be enough for now, I suppose. Uh, 12 all in all. It's going to be good. I uh, just want to get some uh, automation or automated mining, I suppose, going on the stone because um, it makes life easier, I suppose. We need a better reason than that? I don't know. I, I don't feel like I do. But, um, maybe. Maybe. Also want to increase the iron making here ever so slightly. Um, I must say I'm already enjoying the difference between this and the Death World series I have, where, uh, basically everything is much more expensive to make. Um... Which, you know, this is, this is, un it's, it is, it, can I even speak? It is its own kind of fun, I suppose. But, um, you know, there's, there's a limit to how, how much fun it is in the beginning of the game. Once you get further along, you know, you can always, um, you have sort of the basic fa factory in order to, uh, increase your production. Um, without, you know, too much of a headache. Now that might not have been the best sentence, but if you were able to follow it, I'm sure you um, might be able to um, be a strong candidate for Mensa, I believe. That was taken straightly out of uh, my rear end and has no hold in reality whatsoever. But uh, it's fine, there we go. 41 iron plates uh, for those of you who wanted to know how many we had now it's 41 
Uh, gonna get this uh, copper going so that we can might want to plunk down that as well, so that we can get some power up and going, which is gonna be nice. It is indeed going to be very nice to get that power up and going. There we go. Did I put all of them in there? I did. Why did I do that? I I'm having trouble speaking. Apparently, I am. Uh, I apologize for that. Actually, did not mean to. Did not mean to uh, have a bad talking day today. Maybe I should just focus on pronouncing everything very clearly and talk this way instead for the rest of the episode. Uh, I think that we um, bit. I'm not sure if that would create a lot of entertainment value. I don't think so. Maybe it would. Maybe someone are um, especially inclined that, in that direction. Hard to know. There we go. Grab that stone. Gonna grab a couple of these. Both of those. And we haven't grabbed any copper yet, so we can't get that yet. Once we grab it, we can. There we go. Not gonna need all of them right off the bat, anyways. Why, why stress with the crafting it? Hmm? No uh, good reason, you say? I think you uh, might be right. Ah, uh, luckily we have some trees here. You heard me right. Luckily we had some trees. If you look around in this map, this is the trees we have, and we have some up here, some up here. That's it. Oh, we have some down here as well. Uh, but um, yeah. Trees. Tweakable. Need I say more? Need I say more? I think uh, to those of you who are uh, Victorio veterans or veterans of watching Victorio or any other kind of uh, Factorio related uh, veteran or at least player, tester, trees are not something you uh, will be missing in uh, 0 0.16. And, you know, if you are, you can always change the settings. So, you know, even you weirdos will, uh, I'm being mean. I should stop being mean. Even you, uh, non-normal folk, uh, would, uh, be, uh, should be happy about, uh, the new episode, uh, the new, um, update, I believe. Uh, we have, uh... Started some initial crafting of science. We might just get um, that automation one up and running in not that long. Now, I would have preferred to have what's it, coal up here somewhere, isn't it? There we have it. We have water here. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. We're gonna hook this up, hook this and this up together, make a beautiful little uh, power area situation going. I would have liked the the not sure what picker tool is that what it's called the thing that makes you press Q and you get the highest miner and such there you should have had the same thing for water I think for the pumps but um that is uh just me being me basically uh gonna grab a couple underground water thingies I want it away from the water and towards this thing, so we need less belts in the long run. Uh, let's see. That was not it. There we go. There we are. And we have the cold air, which is going to be beautiful. Beautiful, I tell you. There we go. That's going to go this way. We're just going to need one for now. So away with you. Buddy boy. Here we go. Plunk that science lab in. Throw those signs in. Maybe throw in some coal too. There we go. Is it not? Why is this not? Have I done something weird? Oh, uh, yeah. I did this the last time as well. This is the second time around I'm trying to record this episode. Now, last time around, I did this as well. Didn't understand why power was not working. But because... In 0 0.16, the um, sign screen doesn't pop up when you place down a lab, the first lab. So I was like, what? 
things are working right. And then I started demolishing everything and like looked for a flaw. Tried to like put it up again. Stuff was still not working. And then it was because I hadn't chosen any signs, so it, there was no power requirement. Anyways, look at that beautiful new lab. Uh, even more beautiful if I hit Alt and remove the tooltip kind of thing going. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Alright. That's enough uh, ogling the signs, I suppose. Uh, did I put in enough signs? I craft enough? Three more? I'd say no. Maybe. I'd say maybe, actually. Possibly. But we're headed up there in not that long anyways, so um, we can always run by or stop by then, because we're going to have to uh, automate that um, automate uh, that um, coal. I'm not inclined to run up and down and fix the coal all the time. So uh, yeah, going to have to automate it. Going to need some more coal over there. This is luckily full of coal, so let's just do that maybe. Gonna be uh, gonna be enough for now, anyways. Um, same goes over here. Now, see, this is not working long term. We're gonna have to uh, do something about that. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Uh, one of those. Thank you. Thank you. And then run up here with this. That's at least better. Situation is improving. Happy to say. That there. Probably gonna need a couple more of these. So let's uh, get that going. I'm uh, gonna need one of those and a lot of those. More than 18, which we'll be getting now. Um, but we can at least start by uh, doing this. So we get a little bit more coal out of that little plant there, coal plant. Yeah, you're gonna need more. You're gonna need the rest. There we go. It's gonna be what it's gonna be at the moment, I believe. Might as well craft one more science. Uh, it's gonna need two more signs, I believe. So let's uh, run on back and grab a little bit more iron plates so we can at least get Signs, first signs done, first research done and done. Uh, I'm not so sure about the belts. How many will we need? I'm not. We'll, we'll we'll try what we have. See how it goes. I imagine we have some more power poles as power poles as well. There's really obviously something wrong with my speech today. I believe now. Science lab has to move. That's no uh, no biggie. We can just plunk it down there, throw those in, just like that. There we go. And uh, well, since we have two already, let's plunk down both of them. Although that's major overkill, I believe. Let's uh, run this down. And I enjoy, uh, or enjoy might be a strong word here. Um, hold your hippos, buddy. Um, I prefer, better word, using burner miners for power because it reduces the risk of having a major deficit of coal. You know, you bring coal from far away, coal comes in, and by the time coal comes in, you're out of power and your miners don't do shit. So you have to manually Grab it, throw it down. Long story short, I enjoy, again, I prefer the burner miner, burner inserters, man, uh, rather than the electric ones. But that's just me. And also, you will never need more speed than the burner miners can uh, give you, which is also nice. Uh, huh. Has that always been there? Like without research? Have you always had long hand inserters without research? I don't know. I, I kind of feel like you haven't, but um, who knows? 
mate. We go. Um, anyways, we're gonna need a couple more power poles. No doubt about that. And, uh, I did not do as I said I was gonna do and bring the power poles with me down to get power towards the area where we're mostly spending our time. But, uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Um, let's, uh, just grab the lights because, uh, I have no light mods installed, so... Yeah, now. Might be nice for other people than me to see as well. Well, the beauty of the... Well, this is probably just just looking exactly the same as in 0 0.15. I think like the overall perception of the game world is, is, has just gotten so much better in 0 0.16. Uh, but it might just be me being superbly excited. There's a good chance it's somewhere there in between at least. Anyways, let's uh, run on up. Should have grabbed some more wood. Didn't. So we're probably not going to reach all the way, but we're going to reach some of the way down, I believe. And uh, let's grab 10 of these as well. And I'm uh, going to throw those in the science lab right over here. Beauty. Look at that HD graphic. Ah, mm. mm. oh, looks amazing. Very much enjoy the graphics. And I'm not really, uh, normally I'm not really that into the graphic part of things. Yeah, a lot of people have like a strong thing towards the graphically appealing stuff. I usually don't. But, uh, you know, really enjoy these graphics at least. Which, uh, you know, it's worthy of note, I think. Um, anyways, we were gonna bring the purples down. Might wanna wait until we can throw in the last of the science. Where's it? There it is. It's there, sir. All done and done. Very good, sir. Yeah, that's, uh, that's me trying some uh, British of sorts. As you can tell, I am not a British speaking person. Nor am I English speaking, which you probably also could tell. I do speak English though, but uh, not natively. I am uh, of. Uh, I hail from uh, the Viking homelands, one of them, anyways. Being Norway. I'm guessing a lot of you were very interested in that specific detail about me. Anyways. Without further ado, let's uh, call it there for today. Um, we are going to continue with some more awesomeness uh, in the uh, next episode, which I will record right after this one. So it will probably be out during the same day. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date on the game series or on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, and especially now that I have total of 15 subscribers uh, every subscriber really counts and it really makes a huge chunk of difference and a, a really big motivational boost um, and if you want to you know throw out some comments some uh, insight some bad advice some good advice whatever it is you want to throw out put it in the comment section tell me what you like what do you think about the series so far tell me what you want to see in the series tell me what you have for breakfast. I don't, I, I, I really care, but I, I would find everything to be okay as long as it's not, you know, inappropriate in civilized societies. You know, that kind of stuff. Anyways, I've been rambling on for way too long about the time where I shut my pie hole and uh, let you guys get back to episode two or uh, on to another item on your agenda today thank you so much for watching i've been the harris snowman and you've been watching completely average gaming on this victoria 0.16 game series thank you and bye bye